So some of you have noticed that some of the freedom parties aren't actually preferencing each other. Now, this isn't a shock to me. I, I sort of saw this happening in October last year. There's a very simple way to get around this. But firstly, why is it happening? In every electorate around the country, the major parties, when they're running, they approach some of the other people that are running and they say, okay, if you preference us here on your how to vote card, we'll preference you there. So it's a bit of a deal. Now, if you're like me and you're not really happy with that, there is a way around this. If you are a more intelligent voter and you do some research about how to preference your own how to vote card, your favorite freedom party can get the benefit of that deal that was made with the major party, but the major party won't get the benefit of the deal from the freedom party because the freedom party's people know how to vote, that they don't follow the freedom party's how to vote card. Even though the freedom party went to the major party and said, yep, we'll do this deal, doesn't necessarily mean that everyone that is doing the freedom party how to vote cards will follow them. If you follow my drift here, follow the cards as you want to number them. If you're not quite happy with it, if you want to put the major parties lower, do that. Use the Turning Point Australia How to Vote cards. We never put the major parties above the freedom parties. That's a guarantee. Check it out, get it out there, and remind everyone, the freedom parties are on your side, but they can't tell you what I've just told you.